Hello everybody, this is Abraham at North Shore Computer Services and what I got today is another puzzle. This is an iMac 24 inch, let me turn it on. <clears throat> you can hear the startup sound, so the motherboard checks out okay. That's what I understand from uh, Apple's description of the startup chime that the all the circuits on the motherboard seems to be seem to be functioning normally however once it boots into the um, operating system something strange happens <coughs> and I have not been able to pinpoint the problem so while it's booting, basically the sound card completely disappears as if it's not present in the computer. I don't know if it's possible to turn it off somehow. There isn't a BIOS setting that I know of. And uh, I don't know how it happened that it suddenly decided to do that. So here it is. It's just get rid of the... I've been doing reset on uh, pulling out the battery and resetting the BIOS so as you can see now the uh, network card I pulled out but the sound if I click on it it doesn't get adjusted as I've been doing the reading on it <coughs> if you go to the sound settings in the output there could be a wrong output enabled but there isn't any other output on here it's only optical digital out port which is this thing I pulled out thinking maybe there's some kind of short in the cable no didn't change a thing this is the strangest puzzle I have seen I don't know uh, what caused it and I don't know what uh, what to even think of it I'll pull apart the board and uh, I'll show what's on the board otherwise the computer seems to function normally there is no lag there is no problems uh, there's no problems whatsoever um, the fans run because I didn't connect all the things back and uh, this is this is the strangest puzzle the otherwise computer works perfectly just the sound somehow disappeared here is the main board and uh, visually I don't see any issues and the fact that the computer plays a chime means that uh, some things functioning correctly I don't think or I don't know if it's the sound card that sends the chime out to speakers but this means that the speakers work this means that the amplifiers uh, final amplifiers on the speakers work I don't believe that the chime is sent out through the um, sound card I believe the main board is the one that generates that chime. <clears throat> so this is where the speakers get plugged in. So this area should be fine. Uh, there is something called audio. I don't know if this is, means the audio plug. Probably. Uh, I have to look through the chips to see which one is the actual sound card. But so far, this is the strangest and biggest puzzle that I have come across the on on a mac computer in ever <laughs> i've never seen the sound card not work i've seen sound card not work when i upgraded uh, or changed mac from booting um, uh, apple into windows so you had to create or find the sound card drivers that was the issue this is not I mean, it might be a driver's issue. I have no idea how to install a sound card driver on a Mac. That thing usually gets done automatically by itself. Never, never, ever had to do that. 
um, I might have to look into that. Um, there may be a BIOS setting that uh, I don't know. I did some reading online about uh, sound card and everybody's pointing to the sound properties in settings menu. Uh, or it could be <coughs> a bad motherboard. <coughs> I don't know what has caused uh, this to uh, become like this from from get-go. I don't know <coughs> if it was the update that caused it or if it was uh, um, I don't know. It, the computer was working fine. Suddenly the sound disappears. That's all I know. That's all I know. Uh, to kind of uh, put a icing, the boards for this computer are not very expensive. So I have uh, ordered a replacement board. The more expensive pieces are graphics card. Now, I am suspecting that the graphics card may be involved in sound generation, but it usually gets involved when you output the sound through uh, Thunderbolt or DisplayPort or HDMI port. Then graphics card could cause the sound to work or not to work. But when it outputs through its own um, uh, sound card, that usually has no bearing because on Windows I've seen where I would install uh, windows and uh, I would see HDMI sound um, having excla exclamation mark in uh, 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 components menu um, but the sound would still work sound would uh, come out of the speakers normally through the internal sound card or additional sound card there isn't a way for me to add a sound card to this computer the only way is to either fix the one on board or replace the board. Very, very weird problem. I will um, make another video, hopefully, that when I solve the problem, if I solve the problem. If somebody has come up with or uh, has encountered something, please uh, put it in comments as to what am I missing here. I, I'm i just at a loss. I don't know what's going on here. So thank you for watching. And uh, in this case, I don't know what to say. Enjoy the information. Hopefully this helps somebody. As I have been taking the board apart, I've noticed something very interesting. Um, this computer had a lot of dust in it. It was just plugged up completely. And I'm thinking, I took off this uh, radiator from this chip, and you can see that there was some kind of leakage. There was no water damage, but the heat heating transfer compound had leaked, possibly due to overheating. i never seen this before. Um, I mean, I've seen the compound to start moving, um, but this is the actual dripping. And uh, I've wiped out. This chip was completely engulfed by this stuff. In other words, this chip may have been overheating quite badly. And uh, that's the dust problem for you. I pulled out the graphics controller to look at that. I don't see anything unusual here. Um, I haven't taken it apart. I'll probably put a new um, heat transfer paste on there. But the graphics controller seems to work just fine. In fact, everything but the sound seems to work just fine. Uh, I've reinstalled OS. <clears throat> I ran different versions of OS. Same exact problem. Same identical problem. Uh, one thing that did happen is uh, uh, this computer is designed to use uh, High Sierra is the latest one. 
there was an update on High Sierra. Maybe that update caused something. I don't know what to say. So far, nothing that I see on this board screams at me. Yeah, I'm causing the problems here. The only problem that I see is that it was extremely dusty. Here's uh, something that's left over after I cleaned it out. And the dust that this one had was kind of, maybe it was sitting for a long time, going through humidity and dry cycles, and that dust kind of settled in here. It doesn't want to leave. It's uh, the kind of dust that's really difficult to remove. So far, nothing that I can see on this board screams at me, this is the problem. Don't know. Don't know what the problem is.